Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your Bing Webmaster Tools account and how to verify your site within that Webmaster Tools account. So the first thing we want to do is lay the groundwork. We're going to use a plugin called WordPress SEO by Yoast, which we can use to easily verify our Webmaster Tools over at Bing. So we're going to install that first, and then we're going to head over to Bing to create the account and get the piece of code we need to verify the site. So first things first, let's install that plugin. Here I am in a WordPress dashboard. All you have to do is go and hover over plugins on the left and then click on add new. In the search bar, type in WordPress SEO by Yoast. It's spelled like toast, only with a Y. And this is the one you want right here. I already have it installed, so I won't be able to, to click this button, but you will likely have an install now button here. Click on that, install the plugin, and then activate it. And you will see a new menu option on the left called SEO. And if we go to the General tab for this plugin, we will see up in the top a Webmaster Tools tab. We click on that. And as you can see, we've already verified the Google Webmaster Tools. And now we're going to do the Bing Webmaster Tools, which goes into this field right here. So if we head over to Bing, and if we go to bing.com forward slash toolbox forward slash webmaster, you will come to this page. And in a big gray box right here, we see Bing Webmaster Tools. And if you don't have a, a Microsoft account yet, which you're going to need to set this up, you can click on this button or this link to create an account. If you have an account, this works with Hotmail accounts and Rocketmail, I believe, and Outlook accounts because they're all Microsoft. If you already have an account, you can click on sign in. And then you just enter your account information. And this is what the Bing Webmaster Tools interface looks like. I find it at first a little difficult to read because there's no real color contrast. It's all just gray and white. But what you want to do is find this add your site button. It should be on the very first page you come to when you log in. So if you click on add your site, they're going to ask you to fill out a little bit of information. If you if this is your first time inside of this account, this Webmaster Tools account, so if you made a new account and signed in for the first time, you may be asked to fill out a profile. So that's just basic information like your name, uh, your email address, your company name if you have one. Uh, just really basic information. And then if this is not your first time in the account, you will see just this where all you have to do is add a URL. So I'm going to add the URL of our demo site, which is wp-phd.com. You have the option of adding a sitemap, which I'm not going to do right now. And they ask you to choose your peak traffic time. If you don't know what the peak traffic is, just choose all day. And when you're done, click on add. And then on the next page, we get the information we want. So we want this piece of code right here inside of the content tab. Whenever you click on this little field, it highlights the whole thing. So I just I, all we want is this string of alphanumeric characters. We don't want the whole thing. But down below, handy dandy, they printed out that piece of code. So you can just copy it from here. Once you have that copied, head back over to your WordPress uh, dashboard and paste it into this field here, into the Bing field. Click on Save Changes. And what that's going to do is the plugin has all of this meta, meta information code already in the header. So when you add this piece of code, this little piece here, the plugin creates all the rest and puts it in the header file so it looks like this, how Microsoft wants it to look. And then when we have that done, we click on verify. If you don't want to use the, the meta tag, you can also use an XML file and put it on your web server for option one. Option three, you could change the C name record to to, uh, to DNS, but this one's the easiest. With the plugin that we installed, this is the easiest way to go. Option number two, when you're all done, click on verify. And if everything went well, it should verify the site. So it did. Everything went well. It created a Bing Webmaster Tools profile for this website, and there's no data in here yet, but it will come. You give it a few days or a week, depending on how much traffic you have. Eventually there'll be some data in here and this will help you troubleshoot issues that Bing is finding with accessing your website. 
there is potentially no issues at all. So that'll be great too. It'll just give you some information, some feedback on how to possibly rank better within the Bing search engine. So that's how you verify a website create or using Bing Webmaster Tools. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like and share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.